Hi, welcome to the Fancy Farm. I'm Joel. And I'm Drea. <laughs> we wanted to show you guys the new little life on the farm. Yep. English Cocker Spaniels. And how old are they? They are three weeks. Three weeks Almost old. Three weeks. Yep. Yeah. Their eyes just open. We got a variety of color. Yeah, there's eight puppies. Yeah. It was her first litter and she had eight puppies, so mm -hmm. we were pretty shocked. She yeah. had them in, we got her inside of our trailer right now and she's in a kennel with her pups. Um, we're going to be setting up a pen and we're excited about showing you that. So we'll have an outdoor pen for her to be in. We'll move her and her pups in while they grow and while she's nursing her pups. So mm -hmm. they're kind of getting to that age, their, their eyes have opened and they're kind of, they're kind of getting to that age. Yeah, they're almost about to start stepping out of the kennel. So we're like, okay, it's about time to get them moved outside with mama now. Yeah, so. the door's kind of open. Mama goes in and out and they're getting to that age where they're starting to think about that. They've been chewing on each other's ears a little bit, so they're yeah. starting to get to that playful stage. So yeah, yeah. But. We didn't we we you know with me working, it slows us down a little bit around here. You guys saw the duck pen, and and those are, are I guess our 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 whole uh, modus operandi on the farm is uh, to have to to not shoot so high. In the past, we're very impulsive and we've we've shot high and had big failures and so the whole idea is to do things a little smaller be set up a little better plan them out here's the daddy right yeah, here this is, daddy. this is marley he's the daddy he's the he's the daddy of the pups but you know to have small successes and 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 grow over the years instead of trying to do everything in our first year and i think that's one thing we've done wrong on our past attempts of, of being homesteaders is trying to do everything big and do it now well and even coming into this homestead um we had big plans and we thought we were going to hit some big goals you know mm. pretty quickly and it's not going as quick as we thought it would go and so it's a little bit you like you know you get down it's like no no we just had way too big of goals starting uh -huh. out with so we need to tone it back a little bit <laughs> we're thinking there's probably more wisdom in slowing down a little bit than going so big no. briar go go briar so briar's very interested in the new puppies so here sit she loves babies she loves babies but yeah one big goal we are gonna hit is we have purchased our pole barn package. We've purchased poles. Uh, the, the neighbor gave us the trusses. We've purchased all the purlins for the roof and all the sheeting. So we're really excited about that. We're going to be able to get poles up and a roof up. And we're really yeah. excited about that. Yeah. So Crazy. Yeah. It's a huge, yeah. huge step. When does that get delivered? Friday. Friday, it's getting delivered. So in like five days. <laughs> yeah. We'll be taking some videos of the delivery and showing you guys how we plan to tackle that. Because just Dre and I are planning on building that just the two of us together. So we're kind of excited about showing you all that. So Yeah. Well, we did get our garden in today. It's a small one. We use kind of the a permaculture type method. We've been really influenced by Gabe Brown and his no-till method and how he does his garden. And others have done it. But Gabe Brown is really influential in that area. And if you haven't, if you're interested in permaculture and farming, he would be somebody to really look up. You guys would probably really enjoy him. Uh, very sharp mind, so it takes a little bit to catch up to where he's at. But yeah, mm -hmm. so we want to show you our little garden. And talking about little successes, it's little, but we want to show you. So we'll go for a little walk, and we'll kind of show you where we're at. Yeah. So here we go. Okay. We're doing the little pup transfer. And, uh, and so, uh, you gotta turn the phone. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, so we're transferring the pups inside, so it was a little bit of craziness there. So, but that's, we're, we're very new to this whole videoing thing. Yes. And so we don't have a very good camera. We're videoing with a phone. So it's one thing we plan on investing in, but it takes time to save up and buy the, buy the equipment. But we just really want to document what we're doing and show you guys, and we're excited about it. So let's go check out Joel's garden. Yeah. Joel's and Aubrey's garden. So what we've done is we've, we've placed this behind our trailer. Um, it's ease of watering. We have a truck parked up on a hill behind us with a water tank. So we have gravity fed water. So it's easy to water, but it's also, it, it's not going to get the full hot sun beating down on it so hard all the time. So 
we didn't so um that's that's one of the reasons we put it here the trailer does provide some shade in the mid heat hot days so just a simple little net for dog control more than anything a gate we put together it's just a hog panel uh cable ties in the corner and then just a cable tie that you just slip back on behind you so what we've done here is we've spread straw on the ground and we've planted plants at container depth so whatever size the container is that's the depth we planted the pl plant so we've made a little hole in the dirt loosened it up a little bit stuck them in um gabe brown really encourages leaving some of the existing life you know this all has grass underneath this this is planted right in the grass and when you till that up and disturb it, disturb it, you break up all the mycorrhizal fungi, which helps attract all the water. And I've been itching to say that word. I really wanted to show that word off. That's a, that's a Gabe Brown word. So, you know, it brings me up a little bit. But so we, everything we've done in the dirt at container depth, except for the potatoes. They are planted on the surface under the straw. And as they grow bigger, we will add more straw. And they will grow literally just between the straw and the old sod. And they'll spread out. You don't get as many, but in the or as large, but um, in the fall, you just peel the straw back, and there's your potatoes right there. We didn't. We really don't want to get into the real tilling thing. We'd rather build soil, keep gardening in the same spot, run chickens on it, and really build up the permaculture thing. So, I'll show you a little bit what we got to start out. We got some little. Uh, um, these are called bachelor button flowers. These are Aubrey. She planted these. She's very proud of these. Her goal is to grow flowers for weddings. And so that's her goal. So we're, she's starting small. She's going to get small successes. And we'll build from there. So we got tomatoes along the outside here. And we've companion planted some basil with them. Basil and tomatoes are good companion planters. They, they like the acidic. They seem to grow well together. The potatoes. the t I'm sorry. The tomatoes and the basil. We have two big watermelon plants here. We're pretty excited about trying watermelons. We've never grown watermelons before. These two kind of humps, it's probably hard to see, but there's little humps here in the straw. And those are our potatoes, the start of our potato. We're going to put in a large potato patch, which is just straw and potatoes. But this is just a start right here. Um, this is some of the existing permaculture. We're just leaving it. It's not going to get in our way. The plants will grow around it. We'll see how well, how well it goes. It's just an experiment, right? We've got some zucchini squashes. We really enjoy them. We got a large pump pumpkin over here we got cucumber in the corner over here in this corner we have some lettuce some butter crunch lettuce and my favorite plant of all is along this entire row of the fence right here is i i have planted peaches and cream corn i'm really excited about barbecuing some corn never tried corn before we'll see how well it does it does get very hot and sunny here we can provide lots of water the straw helps hold the moisture in so we're, we're, it's an experiment. We're going to see how well it goes. Uh, this, we, we'd love to hear from you guys how, whether you think we're crazy or whether you think this is a good idea, we still want to hear from you. We'd like your opinions. But this is our little garden. We got, we're, we're shooting for a good success in a little area. And rather than a big effort and a big failure, rather do it something that we can manage and keep up on. So this is new for us. We've never done it. Something to learn. Um, We'll be tweaking it as we go along. We might have made some major mistakes already. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're excited about it. We wanted to show you guys. So thanks for coming and looking at our little garden. And we'll talk to you tomorrow.